Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about trade copiers. Now these are essentially programs that run on MetaTrader and can replicate the trades from one account to another account or many accounts. Now, what I would say is a word of warning, these are very, very powerful and very useful, but if you are doing this on some prop firms, check with them first before uh, running a trade copier because some of them allow them, some of them don't, and even some of the ones that do allow trade copying are very specific on their actual rules and interpretation of them. So what I'd hate for anyone to happen is actually go through, uh, pass the challenges, go and get funded, and then start using trade copiers to manage all of their accounts, and then for any of the profits to come back later and say, oh, by the way, you've now violated it because of these specific rules. Read the FAQs first, and if you have to, get it in writing from them that you're able to use this particular trade copier. So I've been trying for quite a while now to find a trade copy that actually is very easy to use, is very configurable, and actually is not too expensive. Now, there are plenty on the market from social trader tools all the way to Forex trade copier and many other in between. Now, some of them work on a subscription basis where depending on the number of accounts you're managing, the price goes up. Could be if you're running, let's say, anything more than two accounts, you have to go to the next level up and be paying $60 per month, which doesn't start off very expensive, but over the course of the year, it does add up. And these are all the things that come out of our trading profits. So my idea was to find either an EA that actually did the trade copying for themselves. Again, what was supported and had actually some developers in the back end, they were able to get some FAQs and documentation around it, or a one-time payment for an application, again, that will be improved in the future, and at least has that sort of community around it, it actually allows for logging tickets if anything goes wrong, or just checking the FAQs, as well as some good support documentation. Now, in the end, I settled on Forex Trade Copier version three because looking at it, it does everything needed to do. And the price for this is actually $149 at the moment. And again, it's a one-off fee. And obviously, if they do an update, I'm sure you get uh, future releases, including that one. But what's even better is you actually get a demo use of this one that actually allows using up to two accounts for free. And so the majority of people, that'd be more than enough. So at the moment, I've been working with FTMO, my Forex funds. So that allows me to trade copy between those two, and I can add another one on, whether it's a personal account or whether it's another funded account, to actually then have that running as well, all for a free cost. And if I decide to upgrade, it's a one-time fee and it's not too expensive. So this video is not gonna be an end-to-end -end tutorial of every single function in the application, but what it will show is how to actually install it, configure it at the basic level. Some of the options and the settings are quite useful, as well as showing it actually working in practice. So let's jump on the computer and see it all in action. Okay, so first thing we need to do is download the application itself. So go into the website. At the top here, we have free demo. Click that and choose Forex Copier 3. Okay, once that's downloaded, click on open file, which will then go through the installation process. Just click next through all of the installation process. And then it's done, simple as that. Now we need to configure it. Okay, so what we need to do now is add our source account. Now, what the program does, it scans through all of your directories to actually find out where MetaTrader is installed. So all we can choose is literally from the location we see them installed. So for me, I want to use my source as FTMO. And my receiver accounts, I'm going to set as my Forex funds and also as E8 trading. Now what we see first off, we have these little bug fixes to do. Now, often that is because the application is running, it needs to install the EA on top of that one. So clicking the, the bug fix, it will then restart the actual application itself. And next time round, those bug fixes will go green. So here I have my three MetaTraders open. I've got the source, which is FTMO, that goes into my Forex funds and over to E8. So let's just say I create an order. Just going to create a random order, a buy stop, and a place well above current market. I hit place. And as we can see, that's gone across all three of the platforms, which is pretty good. If I delete that, that's now also removed from all of the three platforms. But if you notice there, the actual settings are set that the same lot size is copied across all of the platforms. 
But because these are all different account sizes from a 200,000, 100,000 and 50,000, I now want to customize that so I should get the correct lot sizes. So to do that, just go into the settings, very straightforward. And under lot risk management, we're going to use a custom size. Effectively a multiplier for all of the accounts. So for every lot on my main account, because my Forex fund is half the account, I'm going to use that at 0.5. And for E8, because that's a quarter of the account, I'm going to use that at 0.25. Hit save and finish. Updates across all of the settings. We get OK across the board and now we're good to go. OK, so let's just place an order at market. So I'm going to buy here. So we can see we're now into a trade. If we look onto the other platforms, we can see that's also been executed across E8. And also my Forex funds, this trade here at the bottom. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and comment down below how you're getting on with trade copies yourself or whether it's something you want to use in the future. As always, I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers.